Welcome to the Branding Like a Boss Academy. My name is Charlotte Bunuel, and I am the creator and founder of GB Graphics, otherwise known as Girl Boss Graphics, but now the name is GB Graphics. So um, I'm so excited that you have chosen to move forward with this academy, and I just know that what I have to share with you is going to be beneficial and you're going to learn how to brand yourself online and do so in a way that is 100% you. You're, we're going to go over an outline of what we will be covering in this academy over the next 12 weeks. So let's get started. The first week of the Branding Academy will be going over branding, branding 101, and that's going to include you know, different business basics, um, what entrepreneurship really means, and, and how to do it right, how to brand yourself as an entrepreneur. Um, and the second week, we're gonna be going over establishing your brand specifically, meaning what does your image look like, identifying your objectives, what the core purpose of, what the core purpose is of why you're doing this. So, today I would like to go over the lessons that we have planned out over the next 12 weeks and what we are going to be digging into as far as content goes. The second week of the Academy, we'll be going over establishing your image for your brand. What this includes is, you know, establishing your image, defining objectives, and identifying your core basics for your brand. We, we need to figure out who you really are and what your mission is and your vision is for your entire business so that we can then move forward into the branding like so that we can then move forward deeper into branding you this lesson will also include things like the types of branding out there and so we can figure out which category that you fall into we'll also go over things like style and you know which style do you do you gravitate towards which style works best for you and your business and what you're trying to accomplish with your business online in conclusion lesson two is going to be identifying your core objectives and figuring out how you want to position yourself with your brand in lesson three we're going to go over something that's extremely exciting for me to talk about and that is defining your target audiences when it comes to defining your target audiences you want to figure out all of those things that make you who you are. And that's going to include things like, you know, what your hobbies are, what your interests are, hurts, habits, and hangups you've been through, struggles and strengths, all of those things that make you who you are today. Because whenever you're building a tribe, it's going to consist of people who are like-minded, have similar interests, and you know, just those people who get you. So once we figure out who you are, then we're going to be able to define your target audience even better. So once we figure out who you are, then we're going to be given who your target audiences should be. This is a very important lesson within our branding academy because it's sort of like the core to build on. Defining your target audience is so important when it comes to branding yourself because it's going to be figuring out who your clientele are. It's going to be figuring out who your clients are and how to position yourself in the market and who you're trying to attract. So this is a very key lesson within our branding academy. In lesson three, we're going to be discussing things like identifying yourself, figuring out where you're at so that we can then identify your target audience and kind of what that avatar looks like. Like what would so-and-so do? And that so-and-so is going to be your target audience, your little character. Like we're going to imagine we're playing a video game and we get to create this cool little character for ourselves. And that's going to be your avatar and it's going to be your target audience. And we'll also go over how to position yourself in the market so that you can reach these target audiences. In lesson four, we're going to go over your brand strategy. We're going to discuss what it takes to build a strategy that's going to increase your following, increase the number of people you're coming in contact and ultimately build your brand, getting more brand exposure and how to do that. We're going to use a lot of the information that we just learned in the last lesson about you, like the stuff that 
we identified as you, that's what we're going to be using in our brand strategy in order to come up with a strategy that works for you. In this lesson, we're also going to cover things like your priorities, your experiences, your values, your mission and vision for your business and go over the top three things of each of those and where they rank in importance when it comes to your brand and your business. In lesson five, we're gonna go over social media. Um, with social media, we're gonna discuss things like graphics and brand exposure, brand recognition, and how important it is to make sure that you have a brand identity built for yourself. And that's gonna include a logo, certain fonts, certain colors, and being consistent in all of those efforts when you post to social media. Then we'll cover things like how to make awesome graphics, um, how not to be generic with your post, how to get your target audience's attention with social media graphics. In lesson six, we'll be going over creative thinking. And if you're telling yourself right now, I am not a creative thinker, I never have been, I just don't get it, I'm not creative then I'm so happy that you have joined this academy because you're definitely going to get some bang for your buck when it comes to this lesson. So we're going to be going over creativity in this lesson and I'm super excited about it because I've always been a super creative person and I love to bring creativity out in others. In lesson seven, we'll be going over the logo. This is the face of your company. This is the first thing that people see and it represents your brand and it represents you. So you wanna make sure that it looks good and that you love it because with a good logo that you love, you're gonna have more confidence when it comes to branding. So we're gonna go over everything involved with creating a custom logo for yourself and the importance of having someone professional do it. In lesson eight, we're going to talk about brand consistency. This is going to include things like branding DNA, brand identity, the look and feel of your brand, the use of your logo, how to be consistent in your branding efforts, and how to create a branding board. In lesson nine, we'll be going over how to approach your customers, the pitch. I have named this lesson the circus and of course we'll dig deeper into that in the lesson but in this lesson we're going to talk about how to get into your customers minds and and think like they think when it comes to purchasing your product or service you have to offer with your business we want to get to a point where you are subconsciously creating an image in your clients and customers minds about your product or service so we're going to talk about how to do that how to approach them what are the right ways, what are the wrong ways, and how to make sure you get it right. Lesson 10 is a really important lesson when it comes to building your business. It might not seem like it's really important when it comes to branding yourself, but if you want your brand to survive and you want your business to survive, then it's so important to learn how to manage it all. We will go over things like what your priorities are, what your vision is and how to allocate your time properly so that you aren't shunning your family while you're building an empire. Ultimately, the goal of this lesson is to help you manage all aspects of your life and get it all in and be able to do it like a boss. Lesson 11 is that boring lesson that none of us really wanna hear about, but it's part of it, it's the legal jargon, right? So we're going to discuss things like trademarking and copywriting and what all of that means, how to do it, and how not to get in trouble by stealing other people's stuff. In lesson 12, we're going to talk about personal selling and moving forward with your new shiny brand. This is going to really pull everything together that we have learned over the past 11 weeks prior to this lesson. This lesson will include things like tutorials on different apps you can use to brand yourself better and all of those little tools that you should have in your toolbox so it makes you easy to stay consistent with your branding and everything that you've learned over the past 12 weeks. I'm super excited for all of you 
again, to be a part of this academy. And I think it's going to be extremely beneficial for you. So make sure that you are a part of the group that we have on Facebook. The name of that group is Branding Like a Boss Academy. So if you aren't currently in that group, be sure and go ask to be added. We will be doing a live Zoom chat. And this is where we will kind of jump on and talk about the struggles that we're having when it comes to building our brand, like any places that you feel like you are hung up on and just need help getting through. And we'll sort of brainstorm with each other and war room things and throw things around and ideas and help each other out and have this awesome branding brainstorm or brand storm as I like to call it. So I'm super excited about all of you who have decided to move forward with branding yourself and do it right and like a boss that you are. Each module will contain a video, a PDF worksheet for you to follow along with the video, as well as a transcribed PDF of everything we cover in that module. So be sure and download your PDFs before watching the video in each module.